Yo, what's up? Hello, everybody. Checking in. I'm uh, just about to pull in to the house here. Had to just got into a workout at home and uh, on my way. Had to go get groceries and wash the Red Devil. And uh, figured I'd do a few questions on here, talk to you guys. Plug my stuff, my supplements, my podcast. Like always. If you don't talk about it, people don't know about it, guys. That's the way things work. Social media, if you don't use it, you go away. And uh, we're not trying to go away quite yet. Once the Aurora Cannabis stock hits where it goes, then I'll go away. I'm kidding, guys. I'll always be around. What's up, guys? Hello, hello. I'm wearing my Silverback Crew shirt today. We're back. Had to reconnect to the house Wi-Fi, guys. Wearing my silverback shirt. Braun Strowman actually gave me this shirt back when he was with the Wyatt family. He gave a bunch of guys the silverback crew shirts. So shout out to Mr. Uh, Get These Hands. Guys, what's up? I'm driving a Red Challenger right now. And I got my truck over there this year. I'd like to get a Jeep, a custom Jeep. I'm not... Uh, I don't like just splurging and buying fucking vehicles. It, it's kind of I got I got a sports car and I got a big truck. I'm happy. You don't sometimes you buy things you don't need, it, but I probably will eventually. So, what's up, everyone? Hello, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what my biggest measurement on my biceps are. I've always have had big arms, so pretty much big arms. It's hard to tell on here. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm constantly striving for more, though. I like Randy Orton. Yes, Randy has always been great with me. The Challengers, you want to get a V8. I've driven a lot of the rental cars or V6s, and uh, they're still good. They're nice cars. That's why I got it is because I always enjoy driving the Challengers on the road. I just like the way they are, the way they handle. I like the way they look. They're um, they're nice. This is a, this is the model right under the Hellcat. I wanted a red one. It would have been nice to get a Hellcat, but they had it in a weird blue, and I wanted the red one, and it was just right under the model, right under it, so I'm happy with it. And it's a little cheaper, so. I miss you guys, too. Thank you. I've actually, I tried. I had actually one of these these Bang Energy drinks, a cotton candy. I uh, It has aspartame and sucralose. And uh, I'm not happy about that, but I wanted to try the flavor because we're going to try to do a cotton candy for the Feed Me More Nutrition uh, Finish It BCAA. Um. I have an orange pineapple we were going to go with, and I like that a lot, but I this cotton candy was amazing, the the taste of that. So we're going to try to replicate that with Stevia. And uh, I just got off the phone with the manufacturers, and they're going to work on it. So uh, we got a cotton candy in the works. we got the green apple, Wake Up Unlimited Energy. I'm hoping to have it next week. i got to talk to them and see when they're going to ship it out and uh, get that stored away. And... Uh, Get that all shipped out to Amazon. We'll get it up on the uh, website, feedmemore.com website right away. And uh, be ready to rock and roll. We just got the cookies and cream protein approved. So that order's going in. We'll have cookies and cream protein again shortly. And uh, we'll be rocking and rolling with a full lineup again. Guys, I'm not fighting anywhere right now. I'm trying to get healthy. A lot of, a lot of stem cell procedures. Ah, my good buddy, Stu Bennett, just messaged me on text. I, uh, I got to shoot him a text in a little bit. Ah, oh, man. Any questions, supplement questions, podcast questions, guys? Conversation with the big guy Ryback on iTunes and Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud. It's hard to see today, the way the sun is sitting, so... I'm not going to WWE right now, guys. Uh, I'm, uh, I got a, Stu keeps texting me. The, uh, I'm trying to get healthy here. 
We're trying to raise awareness on how uh, a lot of the situation for the wrestlers in WWE. I'm very passionate about this. And uh, if you just listen to the podcast on John Oliver this last week's episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll hear my story, why I'm very passionate about this, why I wish more people were speaking up, but I understand why they're not. Um, I don't live in fear, though. I've always told it like it is. I, uh, I'm very confident in myself, my wrestling abilities. And uh, once I get healthy, I have no doubt I'll be able to show up wherever I want uh, and wrestle. But in the meantime, I'm trying to make things better for everybody else. So if you could just kind of uh, share that John Oliver video. And uh, we're going to looking into my options here on speaking more publicly about this. Because um, a lot of the information I have, a lot of the documents I have, will expose them to the fullest, fullest extent. And uh, it's going to make life better for wrestlers for the future one way or the other. It's the least selfless thing I've ever done, and it's something I'm very, I'm not gonna get anything out of this. So, but with what happened to me, I don't want to ever happen to any other wrestlers. With the way creative happened for me because of my history with my ankle, I never want that to happen to anybody else. And uh, if there was a union in place or things in place, that never would have happened uh, the way my career had kind of uh, went up and down there never would have happened and uh so very motivated to see this through and i will not shut up i will not stop and uh whether you like me or hate me i don't care i'm going to continue to do what i do and uh i'm going to help the guys i talk to the guys i talk to the girls there not all of them but enough and i was there for my entire adult life i know the situation i know the truth and uh hopefully we get some big names to fucking get find their fucking balls and uh, speak up on this as well because they all know how fucked up the situation is and uh, there ain't a goddamn person alive I fucking fear and I will not stop until this is better for everybody so that is my motivation go listen to the podcast you'll know why I'm passionate about this Fifteen years old, working out, buddy. Eat a lot of salad, a lot of vegetables, a lot of lean protein. Focus on your diet. Watch workout videos. Learn how to work out properly. Don't get caught up with a lot of these steroid people on social media. Try to focus on health and being the best version of you each and every day. Healthy diet. Put food as energy, the fuel that you put into your body. This world is fucked up. This world is trying to fuck you up. This world is trying to poison you. You have to educate yourself and, and drive yourself and put good, clean energy in your body because everywhere you look, people are selling you bad shit. People want to make money off you. People want to do stuff. People want to use you. Strengthen your mind. Learn the right way. Proper nutrition. Food is energy. If it was grown on this earth and our ancestors ate it, it's probably a lot better than all the box shit and canned shit they're selling us. Not to say you can't have that from time to time, but try to eat a lot of lot of greens, a lot of vegetables, and a lot of lean proteins, lean fish, and uh, I promise you, you will do all right, and it will give you it will give you an advantage that you have access to this information at a young age. I had to figure this out on my own before the internet, and then when the internet when I came around when I was a kid, constantly just looking up this stuff and reading, trying to try, and I try different diets all the time to this day. Just try different things every three or four months and see what works for you. And uh, you, you'll continue to learn and grow and evolve as you get older. You got a lot of time on your side, but you're starting now. And uh, stay on top of it. You're going to be all right. Best supplements for kids is proper nutrition and learning how to work out, I would say. But protein and BCAAs are two things that will be that would be good for a kid that other than that other supplements they don't need other supplements um on that outside of maybe a multivitamin and uh but if you're giving them proper nutrition it's i want it i want it i wouldn't focus too much on supplements i would wait for them to, to get older before they start diving into that realm that area hey guys what's up hello hello Make sure you check out Feed Me More Nutrition, available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. You can always save 25% with IG25, Instagram, IG25 on feedmemore.com. 
or you can buy the supplements on Amazon. If you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. And uh, we got more flavors of everything coming out here shortly. The Feed Me More Nutrition, the big guy testosterone booster can greatly enhance your libido. It is uh, a premium testosterone booster. If you guys have seen, I posted on my Instagram story today, I get emails and messages from people all the time that actually go and get blood work, and it shows how much they actually raise their testosterone levels naturally. If you have more natural testosterone, you're going to have a better sex drive. You're going to have better boners, as uh, you were asking. But um, try it for yourself. You'll see. It's the real deal. It's not a pro-hormone. It's not a steroid. It's natural herbs that work synergistically together. Together, that will get you the results if you're busting your ass in the gym with proper nutrition. What's up? Hello, hello. I'm trying to see. Fan, thank you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Hello, hello. Best ways to bring your chest out, I would focus on incline movements. Build up your upper chest. A lot of that is genetic, too, on your muscle bellies and how they're how the tie-ins are placed. But if you focus on incline movement, it will kind of give you that bigger, it, it, with the way that the chest kind of hangs, you get that upper pec developed, it makes your chest look fuller and bigger. Some people have a problem like that. Kofi Kingston, I love Kofi. He doesn't have a chest. He can do all the incline movement in the world. Genetically, that is the way he is structured. But like people like that, but if, you're, if you have a somewhat more normal chest development. You just need to focus on incline movements. Hello, hello. You get a flat stomach with proper nutrition and, 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 and eating correctly. No, don't drink your calories. P90X Ab Ripper X, weighted abs once a week. Yes, look at the old P90X routine. That would be my advice for working out at home with no weights. That will get you in shape, no doubt. I talked to CT. I would, uh, we talked about that. I can't right now. I literally, guys, I'm rebuilding my shoulder. I had no shoulder cartilage. I've had 11 stem cell procedures, so. I, uh, and I talked to him when I'm healthy and I think I could push myself. I would, I would, I would do that in a heartbeat and I would have no problem doing it. I've watched his martial arms. It's a great, great routine. It is, uh, it will, it will test any human being. Hooters Casino, best wings in town. I think the keto diet works for some people and I don't think it works for others. I noticed a lot of the people that, that are advocates for it, they tend to hold fat in their midsection. A lot of the experts online on YouTube um, outside of the ones that are using steroids, all look skinny fat to me. So that raises some questions. If keto run, burns body fat, all these people I see talking about it tend to have more body fat than I would be comfortable holding. So I think you got to know your blood type. I think you got to know your genetics. I think you need to know uh, like a biome test, your gut bacteria, what foods you're sensitive to and whatnot. And I think you need to eat within your genetics. And uh, I don't think one diet fits every human being. And so I think with that, I don't process fats well. I've done keto and I've lost weight and gained body fat, doing the opposite of what I was trying to do. So I felt all right on it, but I feel better eating moderate carbohydrates, clean carbohydrates and low fats and moderate to high protein. I've always functioned my best like that, especially if you're doing high intensity conditioning and cardio. You actually, I, I have found you function better with, with pure carbohydrate energy. So keto people, though, if you like it and it works for you, that's man, do it. Just find what works. You got to be, you got to try other things. People are always selling you stuff I'm finding online and what I'm not selling you guys a diet. I just give it to you like straightforward. If I, even if I was selling a diet, I would tell you the same exact thing. And I find it funny that people that sell these diets and these, these ideas, that's all they talk about. They don't tell you to test your genetics to get different things test, get an APOE gene test done, see how you your body transport lipids and, and the fats and whatnot, see what your blood type is, because I think there's a little bit of truth to everything, and you got to find what works for you.
Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, you stick to those places if you like it. Sorry, I got, I got to look at these messages here. You're very welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I I don't have a favorite of anything, really, guys. I like a lot of UFC fighters. I think all those guys and the women are amazing. Everyone should have respect for people that go and push themselves in something and try to, try to, to make a living doing something that difficult, so... I do boxing on my own. I haven't done anything, though, since I've had all my shoulder problems. Boxing, Muay Thai, and Jiu-Jitsu. I just do it for the discipline and for the fun and enjoyment. And uh, I work for myself, and I'm happy. So I don't, there's no, I think I'm living the ultimate life right now. Hello, Italy. Guys. I think Brock Lesnar's done an amazing job for himself, and uh, he's uh, he's in in a very powerful position to uh, to do what he wants, and that is that is what every wrestler should strive for ultimately. I'm not big on the expos. With that, I don't kind of, I don't want to put myself, I don't like being around a bunch of people that abuse steroids. It's that entire industry is with a bunch of fucked up people, guys. I don't really like that. And I don't, people, I don't, they're going to go do their own thing. I don't want to be around it. Eventually, I'll hire people to go to the expos. I'm not, I'm not really, I don't think I need to be at the expos to be successful. I've gone back and forth on it, but I think just by being there, by association, I just, I don't like it. I don't want to be around those people. I'm completely against it. And I, I can't, I can't say that enough. All the power to him. I, I, I would rather put out a little better message, and uh, about health and fitness, and uh, taking care of our bodies. And like I said, my supplements or formulas I created because I was sick of what was out there, and I truly used this stuff for the majority of my adult life and learning about it since I was a kid and mixing and matching different supplements because I didn't rely on drugs. It's a little different mindset than others people that do steroids and then they get paid for by companies to endorse their products that don't do shit that are bad for you. So it's I'm I'm in a different boat and uh, it, it's trying to portray that message to people and see the passion behind it and that it's uh, these are different products. Yeah, it's in the same industry, but I kind of don't want to get blended together with them at those things. As much as it would be great to meet people, I just don't want to put myself in that environment because I don't personally like it. And I always stay true to myself first and foremost. But guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Check out, I got groceries in the car. I don't need my salad cooking and my vegetables. So feedmemore.com, IG25, save 25% on Amazon as well. And check out the podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, please. The John Oliver episode, please like it, share it. And uh